everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, we are here for part two of our little um, Tim Holtz journal that we're making. And the only thing that I did to this is I put a little bit of sewing up here and here, and that's going to be the back. And this is the front. I started to do it on here, but I actually didn't want to make it that small up there, so I just went ahead and pulled it out. This is going to end up being covered, um, so this will too, so we're, we're okay with that. I kind of messed up on my stitching, but that's all right because you won't see it. Um, you will see it on the back because I'm not going to do that much to the back, but we will decorate the front, and we're going to go ahead and do the inside. Um, if you didn't see part one, it is linked to this video, so you should be able to um, see it there and we're going to go ahead and put the insides together um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and slit my envelopes and I'm doing a total of six of them Four. I got a couple extra here and all I'm going to do is take the tiniest little slit on here and that is just so that they will be a pocket later. I'm gonna do that on all of them. It's just easier to do it now than after you have it together, although you could do it later. And it's, it's a really small amount that we're cutting off, you know, like this big, so. It doesn't, I don't even know that you could measure that, or I can't, but it's a super, just a slither, just to open it up. So we're going to do that. And it doesn't matter if they're absolutely perfect, they'll be fine. Um... All right, so now that we've done that, what I want to do is go ahead and put the inside together. And the way I'm going to do this is a little different than I've done it before when I do these envelope journals. I'm going to close up this side right here um, with the, this flap. So in order to do that, here's the opening. I'm going to take this flap part and lay it down here and I'm gonna line it up with the crease. So we're not leaving a gap like we did in here. We had a, we made a quarter inch spine. We're not doing that. We're just gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. The sticky, if you don't have that, just use a glue or you can use both. And make sure it's lined up because once you get it down, it goes down. And we're gonna go ahead, oops. I moved it, so that's not good. I don't know if I'll be able to redo it. I'll have to probably put glue because I moved it. But anyway, you're going to get it perfectly in that crease and then do that. Let's see, did that go down? It went down pretty good. And then just do that. And what that'll do is it'll close this up to where you have... Um, basically a pocket on each side, okay? Um, you could sew down the middle if you want to. I'm not going to do that because this is going to be in the elastic, so it'll, it'll um, work that way. But I'm, I, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And I'm going to do that to all of them. So probably be easier if we just line it up and then take the uh, tape off, but use my little thingy here. Looks better. All right, make sure it's lined up. Get it down. Now, we're still going to put something over that portion, but um, you know. All right, so now what I'm going to do 
is we are going to go ahead and cover these up the way that we want them. And I'm going to leave them in here because it kind of tells me what I want where. And all I did is take some of the um, backdrops and then some of the, Christ the Christmas backdrops and then the worn wallpaper, the Christmas worn, worn wallpaper. And I cut them to fit each of these little spots here. And I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just, like I said, I'm going to do every other one. And I'm going to still deck do some decorating on these uh, plain pages. But uh, what I want to do now is just figure out where I want what. So I'm just going to kind of decide where I'm going to put all these. So we're going to have one here. So we could put that there. I haven't really, you know, gone through and figured out where I want them. I'm just kind of looking now. And all I'm really trying to do is to kind of vary the colors a little bit. So it looks, you know, somewhat coordinated. I think it, that should go that way. And maybe that there. No, I don't want two green ones together. So I'll put that there. Put that there. And then put that there. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is glue these down, and I'm I'm only doing it on the right now on the pages that are um, that have the flap. And all I did is cut out, cut them out to fit kind of right on there. Okay, and I'm doing that mainly just as just like a backdrop for. Now, I could make a pocket out of that and make an additional pocket, which I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. Oh, I'll, I'll do it. We may not use it at, that way, but we can do it that way. That way you can see how we're going to do this. I'm going to take these out and hopefully leave all these in while I'm doing it because that way they can stay in place. It'll be easier for me to do. All right, so take that one out first. I'll leave it like that, how about that? Okay, so I'm only gonna put glue on these sides. And I'm just using my art glitter glue because it's paper to paper. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And that will leave an opening right here, which, you know, I guess I'll leave it and just let the person who gets this decide if they want to um, use it to put stuff in. It'll be like a little secret pocket. Now you're gonna have a pocket right here too, okay? Make sure we get good contact on that. I'm gonna do the next one. I guess I'll do it the same way. Yeah, it's kind of a shame on these backdrops because they have cool things on both sides, but that's why I bought another one. Because last year I was kind of faced with that. I didn't, there was some stuff I wanted to use on the other side. And, um, I couldn't find it. Oh, I should have inked that. Ooh, well, I can do it after. Let me get my ink out. Yeah, I should have inked all that. I will ink it. You can still ink it, but it's harder. Get that down. I'll go back in and ink those later, but I'm going to go ahead and ink these other ones so I don't have to worry about it later. And I use black thread because, I don't know, when I use Tim Holtz somehow, most of the time I use black thread. Okay, so we're going to do that. And that. Okay, that goes there. And... Okay. That goes that way. Anyway, this is super, super easy, and I think if you have your all of your Tim Holtz stuff out, you could easily whip one of these things up in an hour, really. 
and um, you know, the decorating always takes a while for me because I just because I can't make up my mind. But Tim Holtz stuff, it's easy to use because it all goes together so well. Oh, ink, 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 ink it all up, and I probably will ink around this too. I'm not gonna bore you with that. It'll just I can do it later. So we've done, i do that. Okay, it's not staying down right there. Maybe I need more glue. All right, and here's my one that goes right there. Now, you have a choice on these. You can go ahead and decorate them up each page, um, you know, and then have, you know, it, you know, this be all decorated and whatever. And then, but I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to like partially decorate them. And I probably won't be able to do it all with you or all this time but this gives you the basis that if you wanted to put like a picture or even write on it um, in my mind this was more like where you might put a picture or something so um, think I'm just not letting it sit down long enough. All right, so this is going to be two, three. Okay, so that's all of them. And oh, that didn't go down all the way. Put a little bit more glue. Make sure they're all down. Go down a little bit. Did that go down? So I just didn't put enough glue in some spots. There we go. Alright. That, that, that needs some glue too. Alright. So now that we've got all that done. It will end up in here and we'll have a pocket here and a pocket here. And I don't know if we should put a notch in there. I think we should put a notch in the middle. So what we can do, I want to line them up so they're in the same spot. Um, so maybe just do I want to do it in the middle or do you want to do it on the end? Hmm. Why don't we just do it right here? So I'm going to eyeball it in the middle. I'm really terrible. I think I'm going to actually measure, which I never hardly ever do, but that's what I'm going to do because they all have to line up. So I'm gonna go, let's see, where's my zero? Well, that's way off. Three and a quarter, three and a quarter. Okay, there's my mark for the middle. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna do this. And this I will eyeball. Okay, so now let me 
go ahead and line these up and try and get them all at the same point. I can't really see what I'm doing. Turn it this way. All right, so we have our notches in there. So you know it's a pocket. I don't know about the other one. I don't know if we should mess with that or not. You can kind of see it because it's got the brown on there. So I don't think I'm going to put a notch on that side. And then these will go in here like that. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. And I am going to go ahead and um, put a dot of glue in the middle of this and cut it off. Because I think I have decided that this is where it needs to be. I just do that to keep it from sliding. And I keep it long until I know it's where I want it because that way it doesn't, if I have to take it apart and retie it, it's easier to do. Okay, so that's it right there. We have a bunch of stuff over here. And um, I'm not 100% positive what I'm gonna do but I have some ideas. So I know, I think I want to use some of these stars. Um, I have this um, buckle that's uh, meant for like a, a closure. Let me see, I just want to see how it will look. And let's see, you get, you put them on this. Mm -hmm. I don't want this to go flying. A lot of times I open these and they go flying across the room. Okay, I thought they were different colors. I guess they are. All right. Oops. Stay back in there. You always get little pieces flying everywhere. Okay. So, I think I want to do that as a closure. And I have this uh, red... Um, this red velvet. Let me see. I think that's what I'm going to use. Is that the right width? Will that work? Yeah, I think it's perfect. Okay. So. And let's see. I don't know. Is this 5 8 I think this is 5 8 And so that will go, let me move this stuff out of the way. This is the stuff I picked out. And I did it ahead of time because otherwise, you guys, we would be here forever. Because it always takes me forever. Alright, so. Um, we want to put this on here like that, I think. And it's important I do it now because otherwise, I guess it can go this way. Because it bends over. That would work. Right? Alright, again, we're going to find the middle. Let's try that. Let's see, three and a half. All right, so that's about the middle right there. All right, so we're going to do that. And that's the front. Okay. There we go. I like where that's at. Okay. So now I have to put this here. And it has to go through here. I'm going to put that there. And that will go here, that will go there, and then that will go right here. And I think I'm going to put like something on there to cover this on the inside because I want to um, be able to um, slide things in and out. Okay, so I'm going to open that up. Okay. All right, so that's going to go like that, and then this is going to go around like that, and it will buckle right there. 
okay? Now, I'm not 100% positive if I want it under what I'm putting here or over. I think it's likely I'm going to want it under, but I'm not going to mess with it until I'm done. Um, I am going to go ahead and put something like on the inside right here. I want to put something, just another piece of um, paper probably. I think I'll just do something decorative. So it covers that. And then that way, when you put stuff in and out, you're not going to have a situation where it catches. Plus, it helps reinforce it. So, I'm going to do that. And, let's see, here we go. I'm going to do that right to the edge. I think that should work. All right. A little glue right there. Get the glue off of there. Come on. It'll be all right. We're not going to even see that later, but there we go. Okay, so that covered that. And now I'm going to go ahead and I will mess with cutting that later to decide how, um, you know, how long I want it. I know it's way too long, but let me get some of that glue off of there. There we go. All right. So now what I'm going to do is start decorating it. And I am using quite a few different things. Um, I've got, um, let's see, these are uh, layers. These are botanical layers. I'm using some of those. And I'm using uh, an ephemera pack. I am using the uh, new paper dolls. And I'm using the baseboards. And I'm also using, um, which one is this one? The layers, okay? And I'm just using a little bit of each in this.
it looks like Santa's going into the house and I like it. Got the metal here. Now let's see on this. I kind of don't want to do this until we're completely done. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I know it won't need that long, but then this will go right through here. So pretty cool. Pretty excited about it. I think it'll be cool. All right, well, that's it, guys. That's all we're gonna do today. And then I I am probably gonna decorate the back some. Um, I don't know what all I'll do, but I'm sure I'll do something. And I think next time um, we'll go ahead and make the little cards to go in there that we're gonna put in the little, you know, in the little pieces because that way um, we'll have that. We'll have the, we're going to make, uh, little things to go in here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do it for all of them. I may do it just for this side right here. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and decorate this and that and the back. And I, what I may do is I may go ahead and just, because it doesn't, the decorating does not, um, will require a lot of explanation what I may do is I may just decorate it and then speed it up and put it with music and then you can just see me do the decorating part um, that way you know I can get it all in one clip and I may go ahead and even do a little bit on this side um, not a lot but just a little bit uh, maybe washi tape and some little cutouts and things like that. Um, just so that, I don't know, that it's more decorated. But that part of it is really um, to taste. And so as far as making the whole journal, um, this is pretty much it, guys. This is pretty much the whole um, thing. There's nothing else structurally that you would really have to do. Um, you could add if you wanted to you could add pockets here You could add you could add them on here. You could just I mean The sky's the limit you can only do so much with the spine this big So if you wanted them even bigger then you could make a bigger spine But my point on this is I wanted it to be something substantial, but yet not um not too big that that you guys could make very quickly and it'd be something really nice i think that people would like i would like something like this i mean you could put a lot of pictures and stuff in here and write a lot of notes and you know so okay that's it that's all i have for today and um next time either i'll just do the decorating part of it and speed it up or I'll do a flip through or something, but you guys will get to see see it all finished. But again, that is the structure. So um, thanks for joining me and we will have another Tim Holtz Tuesday on Tuesday. And I'm hoping to get out um, maybe another process video this week. Um, and if I don't, I'll at least have a flip through. But um, you know, it's just, I'm trying to get a lot of things done this week and get it all done by the end of the week. So I may or may not have time, but we will see. All right. So you guys take care. I'll see you soon.